Chapter 17 5.10 a.m. So wait, you're telling me that we're stuck inside the submarine now? I hope not. I really hope not. The appended submarine continues to sink slowly but surely. A long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Oh no, I think we are... I think we are and still inside the submarine. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them. But at the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them... Uh, now it looks down at them qu quietly. Wait. My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is is this thing? Eek! Uh, uh. What the hell? Is that... Is this evil Cecil? I see you managed to survive, detective. Hey, y you are... Excuse my appearance, I seem to have lost my body. Oh, and you there. You're the ghost who's been saving Glenn all evening, aren't you? You know about me all along? Of course, what else would explain all those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it all this time? And how come you decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Wh Who in the world are you? Wait, Cecil is back as... A at a spirit form? Cecil, look at you. What happened? I can't hold on to the image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are. That's right. I came all this way tonight trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Cecil. Cecil? My name isn't Cecil. I bet you'll remember... I bet you'll remember really soon. Who you are. And who I am, too. What? What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? The man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind. A memory about to emerge. Did I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. Uh, he has a, a dead fish for a thigh. <laughs> they got us good. It's all over the sub. It's all over the submarine. It's all over for this submarine. Its engine is destroyed. There's a hole in the hull, and it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had to deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. The Timsic fragment. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean, they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah. 
that meteorite's radiation was too, uh, ha has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. Power and time? If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. Duration power, the duration time, uh, the duration power effect, the duration time effect, and revenge? The, the radiation's power effect. These 10 years, I've been watching that junkyard uh, superintendent do his research. And I think I've kind of got some of it figured out. What? The meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers. Like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects! Exactly. Apparently, there are individual uh, there are individual differences in the powers we get, and it seems these powers change as time goes. I as times goes by. They do. Yeah, my powers have changed over these past ten years. At first, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Now, now then. How do you suppose we get these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. Ah. Does that mean Camilla has some sort of power? Because she died in a uh, approximate... Uh, you know, in, a uh, in an approximate space to that, uh, to that, to that meteorite, right? Uh, same goes for uh, for Lynn, because she died near, uh, she died near uh, Cecil. Uh, the first time, I mean. We died while exposed to uh, to energy uh, to energy to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what what uh, uh, that's what does it, dying while being exposed to the radiation. On that day, ten years ago. <laughs> what a stupid way to die! <laughs> Chin down and ass up. A fragment of that of that meteorite pierced my heart, and I died. So, of course, I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute. Is that how I got my powers too? You know, you might be white. Yeah, that's where uh missile died. Aren't the Timsic remnants still right there in the park, at the bottom of the s of the uh, at the bottom of the crater? You're right. So that must mean I must have died in the presence of the meteorite's radiation too. Wait, wait a minute, wait a second, wait a second. Does that mean Cecil isn't Cecil? He's actually somebody else? But he thought he was Cecil? Hmm. Hmm. The radiation's time effect. Another effect the meteorite's radiation has on uh, on us is that it give us, it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is uh, centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clear. So the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death 
There's another effect of that meteorite. One of the characteristics of that meteorite is its ability to, repl to, re to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Ah! This is all so strange and confusing. I can't take it all in. It makes about as much sense to me as anything else. Yeah, strange and confusing. That just about sums up the, the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? Contradictory existence. That day, when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside of me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between the moments that separated my life and death. What? My body's vital function stopped 10 years ago, but my body's time is perpetually stopped at that moment just before death. So it actually reconstructs your body to whatever it was when he when he died it's it's it regens his his body to 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 his past self which he was he was is uh, at a perfect shape he didn't have uh, didn't have anything wrong with him time just stopped huh i guess that makes sense that he didn't age so he in in a nutshell he's an he's immortal so I just simply exist, not really alive, and not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last 10 years for me, ever since that incident in the park. My body hasn't aged a day, my hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he, said he couldn't cut this guy's body with the scalpel. So I guess as soon as an incision was made his body would be regenerated wow revenge before i left this country i wanted to do one thing i wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives our lives as part of the deal i made those guys promise to cooperate cooperate you mean the kidnapping it all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the execution order. But I thought he might call off the execution at the last second. So that's why you wanted his daughter kidnapped. But what they kidnapped was the wrong... But, uh, but they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know, they had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objective was to wipe out everybody who had to do with Timsek. I say they wanted to kill Jod, Cabanella, and the pigeon guy, and the professor, and Lynn, of course. Detective Jod was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate. Inspector Cabanella and that junkyard super, they were slatted to be wiped out too. And, as it turns out... I was one of their targets as well. So they stole my Timsic fragment, and here I am. But they had one more final target. Yeah, it's Lynn. You, detective. Me? One final target. 
If you weren't there in the park that day 10 years ago, I would never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a, a hostage. Uh, okay. But I was just a little kid playing in the park. Yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, and you'd become a detective, looking into Jot's case. Tonight, I invited you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap, you see. What about the cat? What about the cat? There's a cat inside this ba his bag! Oh, and things are gonna clear up now. Oh, we're back at square one. This is where it all began, viewers. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day 10 years ago. So of course you didn't recognize me. What the? I took possession of you to make you shoot me. Your subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. It was the first time I wasn't able to control somebody completely. The aim was off, and the first shot missed the mark. The junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you'd be wanted for murder. That was my plan anyway. Ah, so that's why she was a target. But they had other ideas, they simply wanted you wiped out. But then, something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. I showed up. And who was that? I was supposed to meet up with them after that. But then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. Aha. The inspector and White was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back, no matter what. That inspector caused me no end of trouble. But why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of the Timsic meteorite. Because you were looking into the Jot case. They thought you would find out about Timsic sooner or later. <sighs> so... What the... <sighs> There's st still something isn't clear here. Who is Cecil? I mean, our Cecil. I mean, us. If, if, if we're not him... Who are we? What about that cat? What about that cat? Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? Smelly, 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 smelly. And that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for water pressure to crush the submarine. Oh no. There are no cores that link from here to the water sur to the water's surface. I have an idea. We hook up uh, the phone line and there are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for the submarine to be coffin, a coffin for the dead. 
There is no escape. Actually, actually, the uh, the the other spirits can escape, but Lynn and Camilla cannot. Actually, no, no, actually, they can't. I thought about that. If they actually died near near Evil Cecil, they would, you know, they get transmitted. You know, they get, they'll have the power of the dead, the quote unquote ghost tricks. But see, I forgot about that. That the uh, the other guys actually stole the Timsic fragment, the meteorite fragment. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling this these ten years. You what? This feeling, cut off from the world, all alone in a submarine, sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Lynn? C Camilla! Is it true? We're stuck here? What? Uh, uh. If my dad. If my dad was here, I bet he'd save us. Oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. What is it, Cecil? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go to all the trouble of, of the detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they, why didn't they just steal the Timsek fragment and escape? If that's what they wanted. I don't get it. Like how? Why did they have to jettition? Why did they have to jettition your body off into the sea? His body is not off of the sea. They actually still have his body. Hmm, that's a good question. Well, I guess it doesn't matter why Why now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute. Yes, we do. Yeah, we can. We can, We do know where, where it is, but... We can't... Lo we can't... We don't have the uh, receiver. Yes, we do. Oh, she has it? How convenient! This will st this will tell us where Detective Jod is. That present from the inspector in white. That's right. Detective Jod told me to hold on to it, uh, to hold on to it for him. And the bullet is still in the per in the person's body in the command room, right? Then we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. How will this help us, though? But even if we find out where it is, how do we get there? We should be able to figure something out between the three of us. With our powers. Right, Miss Lin? Right. Oh, and wait a minute. What about a torpedo? A torpedo? In any case, it's way too early to give up. Hmm. It looks like Detective Jod is our last hope. Come on! Let's get started! Hmm. I still don't get it, really. Oh, before we do anything, let's go ahead and check on the info. Me, the mystery. I lost my life to a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I don't know who I am. The man I pursued, thinking he was me, was hit by a meteorite and killed 10 years ago. Do I know that man? So who the hell is Cecil? A detective who was 
at the scene of my death. Her name's Lynn. She and Camilla are trapped inside the sinking submarine, the Yonoa. Now, our only hope are the powers of the dead and Detective Jod. Mm, this guy is still a mystery. Ray? She's Detective Jod's daughter. Her name is Camilla. Apparently, she believes her mother's death was, was caused by, a con uh, contra by the contraption she created. She and Lynn are waiting to be rescued from the now sinking sub, Yonoa. A friendly little Pomeranian, his name is Missile. Thinking he, needed, he needs his powers to protect the little lady, he chose not to be brought back to life. He came along uh, to the sub with me to save his mistress, his mistresses, Lynn and Camilla. Hmm, what about these two? And what about this guy? Minor crew hand. A member of the crew of the submarine, the Yanoa, afraid of the restless ghosts he hears are uh, on board. He decides to quit his job. <laughs> is, is that true? The other me. The, one I, uh, the man I was pursuing. Who I was convinced was me. His true identity is the manipulator, a spirit. The other party in, in his deal stole his meteorite fragment. He controlled Camilla as part of his revenge plot, but then saved Lynn at the last minute. No new info about anything else. Hmm. There's a phone here. I don't know what this room is. It's a fancy looking room, though. Hmm. I can talk to him, huh? I can talk to, uh, to Missile. Okay! What do we do now? We go, uh, we go find the command room that was launched somewhere into the sea. What? How? Just to let you know, I don't like water very much. According to Lin, the key to our plan is a torpedo. Kind of a missile. Missile? You have a missile right here! I don't think she's talking about the, that kind of a missile. Now then, where did we see another miss torpedo? <laughs> Let's talk to little Camilla. So, my dad isn't here on the submarine. Don't worry, we're going to go uh, to go get him right now. Okay. I hope I didn't hurt Lynn's feelings. Uh, uh, what I said about my dad saving us if he was here. Oh, don't worry about that. Comments like that just roll uh, right off Miss Lynn's back. She is really thick-skinned. Would you call this an insult? I mean, if 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 he said that she is thick-headed, then yeah, that's a clear insult. But thick-skinned? Probably of being a thick a thick-skinned is kind of a compliment. Well, in in most cases, at least, anyways. I'm going to start being tougher, too. I want to make my dad proud of me. M Miss Camilla. I'm sure your dad is very proud of you, Camilla. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to, uh, to Lin. So his shell is definitely there in the command room, right? Just without the fragment. It's there, yeah. But I don't know about calling it a shell. Detective Jod, watch. Detective Detective Jod's watch. Uh, uh, Detective Jod's watch will tell us exactly where it is. Right. He said it was a radio receiver, didn't he? There might still be another torpedo in the submarine. 
If we use it, we can get to Detective John. That's a brilliant plan, Detective. You think so? Hehe. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Ride on the top of the torpedo? Of course not! You guys are going to go! Darn. I kind of wanted to see that. <laughs> Did you want to see me drown? Hmm. Ah, uh, grapes! Yum! Why is this uh, machine uh, shoving grapes at me? Well, this looks like the private ca uh, cabin uh, of, the, uh, of the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. <laughs> oh, it sounds heavenly! I've been thinking about this for a while now. But don't you think that country's use of technology is just a little off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. Anyway, it looks like the arm of this machine is a bit busted. Ugh. It's dead. Feels bad, man. I think I can operate it again. Yes. Now I can get up. Mm, but I can't reach there. I think I need to use the telephone now. Let's head to the engine room. Hmm. The phone line to the engine room isn't working right now. All that water probably damaged the line. I guess I don't need to go back there anyway. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Uh go to the torpedo well at least they gives you or they give you they give you a reason to why uh, can't you go back to the engine room give you an explanation to why you can't get or you can't go there anymore it's neat that's a that's a good touch that's a nice touch the torpedo room huh there might be another torpedo left there I'll go check it out oh I get it you're going to use a missile to ram the control room well, I don't know about RAM, we don't want to blow Detective Jod up, but something like that. Uh, we'll climb up to the torpedo room too. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there then. It looks like the torpedoes uh, can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, uh, so uh, there are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it in the t in into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me. Uh, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I'll enter the coordinate. Uh, I'll, I'll enter the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. And I just turned on the backup power. We have to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try it. Good luck. Uh, I want to talk to the little lady. I think I can. I can only talk to, to Lynn, huh? Let's talk to her. How's it going there? I'm just calculating the command room's coordinate now. I have to put in uh, a slight offset, though. Don't want to blow it up. I'm sure Detective Jod would appreciate that. <laughs> well, leave this to me! Oh, brother. Good luck with the loading. Uh, with uh, good luck with loading the missile. Okay, thanks. So that's what I need to do here. Let's talk to a missile too. What will happen to to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around, unsure of ourselves. 
Will you lend me your strength missile? Me? Of course I will! Count on me! So... I can actually manipulate the missile. Oh, and I can talk to the lady, too! Now I can talk to her. Please help my dad, sissy. Don't call me sissy! That's rude! I'll be okay here. I'm not scared. Leave it to me, Camilla. We'll be back with your father to save you, I promise. Wait a minute, Zissel! Uh, what is it? What you just said? I wanted to say that! Thank you, Missile! We can do it! I know we can! Alright, so what do we need to do here for the moment? I think uh, we need to go there somehow. Okay. I don't think we can. This switch won't budge. Maybe it's broken? But I don't think the entire device is broken, though. It would probably work if, uh, just fine if only I could move the switch. We'll just have to find a way to move it somehow. But, but I can't do it with my powers alone. Yeah, we need to switch to... Uh... We need to switch to missile and allow missile to uh, replace these switches or swap them uh, swap them uh, swap them away hmm the w one annoying thing that if uh, with uh, with missile I really can't move to the other uh, switch even if I try to move to uh, to another object that has the same object that I'm that I'm uh, possessing the only uh, choice that I, I have is just to swap it. I, c I don't have uh, the ability to move there. It's kind of... Um, hmm. Maybe it's kind of... Uh, by design, it's, it's like that. A little bit inconvenient, uh, you gotta be honest. Uh, we need to be careful with that thing. There we go! That torpedo looks serviceable. All set in this end too, but something's odd. What is it? What is the command room? It, the command room. It looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Right. Okay. Hop into the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay. Thanks. Only us? What about what about missile? I think missile will go for the right. I've already set the torpedoes course. It'll head toward the command room where Detective Jod is. Twelve seconds after launching, it'll pass the command room for an instant. That instant will be your window to, uh, of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Okay, got it. And then we'll find a way to come back and save you. That's, this mission is crazy! <laughs> that, that'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Okay, come on, missile. Missile? I... I'm sorry, I can't go. What?! I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it! Missile. Oh man. So it's gonna be a one-man job? We're only gonna travel there, but his powers is too good! Missile. I swapped the switches uh, so the missile can be launched. We'll have to do the rest, Cecil. I can't do it either. I can't ask missile to come with me after that. 
I understand exactly how he feels. I want you to go, Missile. What? B but Miss Lin! You staying here won't, cha won't change our fate. But if you go with Cecil, you might be able to make something happen. And that's our only hope. But what if that something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never ever again. Even I can understand that. I, I couldn't stand that. Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla? I just know you I just know you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other we'll see each other then. Don't worry. Miss Camilla. All right. That's a good boy, Missile. Now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw the switch. Good thing that he didn't lose his... Uh, hopefully he didn't lose the memory of how to count. We're ready. Cecil? Yes? We never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. All I know is, I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. And I'm glad I met you, Detective. What is this salty discharge that is coming from my eyes? I... Uh... <sighs> But we're going to see each other again, right, Sessie? Right, Missile? That's right. We promise, little lady. Of course we will! I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Here goes then. Good luck, friend. Oh, shit! We got friend zoned already! Why you gotta do this man like that? Man, this is hype. These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lin and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of... Uh, but how can a ray of light, of hope, reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of, the, of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. Alright, we did it! 